Hi there and welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. Um, this is just another short addendum video that I'm doing here uh, in mixing ammonium dichromate. Um, it's an addendum again to the, uh, the gum over platinum video that, that uh, you can see up, linked to up here right now. Um, uh, this is also in addition to another video that I'm going to be working on with pigment mixing and also on uh, sizing, which I may or may not have already uh, introduced. So anyway, in this one, ammonium dichromate is something that we're going to be needing in the process of gum bichromate. Now, um, in the gum over platinum process that I'm working on right now, it's not as imperative that these are real thick layers. I mean, I'm working on transparent layers and thinner layers. Now, if you're working with um, if you're working with gum bichromate process and you're using this video in, in addition to that, um, you're probably going to be want to working with um, lower percentages of dichromate um, than I'm working with here uh, to give you a little bit more contrast control and that kind of thing. Now, the deal is with ammonium dichromate is the more dichromate or the more percentage of dichromate that you use in your, in your solution, the, um, the less contrast that you'll have. Now, of course, um, in certain processes, you're going to want that contrast. So you're going to want to use maybe a 10% or an 8% or in some cases, even a 4% of an ammonium dichromate. For our case, we're going to want to use 30%. And you can see that right here on the bottle, 30% uh, ammonium dichromate. Now, um, now this is kind of a flat uh, contrast. So basically it gives you sort of color in overall areas and we control more of our contrast and more of our um, more of where the color goes into the image by our exposure rather than by our percentages of dichromate. So anyway, long story short, we're going to mix up a 30% solution. Now I'm hoping that this video will help other people. Now I know I speak in a lot of my videos, whether it be the platinum or the, the, um, the, uh, the wet plate or anything that I'm using chemistry in, I'm talking about percentages in my solutions and this should help you with that. Now basically a percentage of a solution is the amount of one hundredths in there. So uh, in this case, I'm going to be mixing up a hundred milliliters. So to mix up a 30% solution um, uh, into hundred milliliters, I would be using 30 grams. Now a good formula for using that and using that we're in, and considering that we're using the decimal system and that uh, one hundredths are 0 .00, uh, Basically, if you want to make a 30% solution of, uh, say, anything, so you, you'd multiply that times point, say, a 30% solution, 0 0.30. If you wanted to do a 25% solution, it'd be 0.25. Um, but for our cases, 30% uh, solution, so we're, 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 um, we're multiplying 0 0.30 into 100, which is basically 30 grams. So we're going to be mixing out 30 grams. And for this procedure that uh, we're going to be doing here, you're going to be needing a scale, of course. Uh, I like to use um, glass uh, stirring rods, glass beakers. Um, you're going to want to have ammonium dichromate. Now, I get my ammonium dichromate from, um, directly from Bostic and Sullivan. Now, uh, ammonium dichromate is dangerous, it's poisonous, it's cancer causing, and it's the kind of thing that you don't want getting into your system or too much into your water system or anything like that. So basically, I ask that you carefully handle this. Uh, and in doing so, I ask that because it's also a powder and it's dangerous, you don't want to ingest any of it. And even though it's not, we're not shaking it up and it's not airborne, I like you to use a mask. Now you can use a respirator, um, you know, a more expensive respirator with uh, organic and chemical uh, cartridges in it. But for our purposes, a simple N95 mask will, will do. Um, and when I say an N95 mask, you're probably going to know what that is in this day and age. It's, it's a little bit more extreme uh, filtering kind of a, um, a, a mask. And it also gives you this uh, this bit of metal in here that goes around your nose so it seals a little bit better. So anyway, I'm going to ask that you use a mask. I'm going to ask that you use gloves because you don't really want this coming into contact with your skin. And I'm going to also ask that you use glasses uh, because your eyes are a colloid and, 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 and uh, ammonium dichromate can harden that. So you just don't want to get it in your, into your eyes. Okay, so now that all the scary part's over with, we're going to get down to the mixing. So I'm going to put on my glasses and I'm going to put on my gloves. Um, safety first, right? And uh, this is definitely a chemical that you're going to want to be using your gloves for. And again, don't be scared of it, but just, you know, carefully handle it. 
So again, we've got that and I'm going to put on my mask. And okay, I'm well protected. Now, ammonium dichromate looks kind of like a Kool-Aid. So I'm going to have to be careful with my eyes uh, fogging up here. It looks kind of like a Kool-Aid um, and I'll show you it here. It's a, it's a bright orange and it's very easily soluble in water. So I just want you to leave that covered as long as possible, just for safety's sake. Now I'm going to turn on my, my, uh, my scale here and I'm going to take off my glasses here so that I can see my scale easier. Really only want your eyes covered when you have this out. All right, so there I'm on my scale. I'm going to set my tear for my tray there at zero. And what I'm going to be wanting to do is measure out, measuring out 30 grams of the ammonium dichromate here. So back on go the glasses. I am going to carefully take out the ammonium dichromate and put it on my scale. There I'm at five grams. 13 grams, 22 grams, 27, and 30 grams. Okay, so I'm going to put my spoon down, I'm going to cover my, cover my chemical again. All right, now I'm all set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it into the uh, into the 100 milliliters of water as I am stirring. And you can see it goes to a bright orange right away, which is another reason that I want you to be very careful with this stuff. Don't keep it around kids or anything because it looks very tasty and drinkable and you don't want to be drinking this stuff. So there we go. Now I'm okay with my glasses. And my mask. And you can see that this is going into solution very easily. But I want to keep stirring it. And I want to keep, uh, keep it suspended until uh, I've got it pretty much all um, all dissolved in there. And just like with other mixtures, you can kind of keep pushing down on the solid that's in there to break it up a little bit. Now, this takes a little bit of time to get it into a liquid, but it does dissolve easily. And I'll keep working on it there. I'm going to pull off my mask for the end of the video here. Now, when I'm done with this, I take this solution and I pour it into an amber bottle. Now, it doesn't have to be an amber bottle because um, the, the solution doesn't become light sensitive until it becomes in, comes in contact with something um, organic, which in our case will be the gum and the pigment that we're using. So when we mix those two together, in our process and to roll it out on the print, then it becomes light sensitive. But until then, it doesn't necessarily have to be in an amber bottle, but I do like to use those. Glass bottle or plastic bottle, keep it sealed, keep it marked um, plainly on what it is, and uh, keep it out of the reach of children and your pets and things like that. Don't be drinking the stuff. Um, and other than that, it's safe to use, okay? Now, uh, if you do happen to get it on your skin or anything like that, wash it off with soap and water. Um, don't get it into your eyes, you know, use glasses when you're using it um, and you should be safe. So um, that's it. I hope it helps and uh, get back to your video here. Uh, you'll see it linked up here right now and uh, thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.